But as the new day dawns, Liz's nightmare turns to a miracle. Overnight, Rich has called on his insider contacts and they've tipped him off about a soon-to-be-listed property that could be the hope our experts have been praying for. Yeah, I was going to say. OK. It's nice and airy. Cute and gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. At close to 600000 this house is within budget and the good news is it's just five minutes away from the local school. There's a good sense of privacy, that whole backyard there. You see it's all screen, nice planting yeah. and screening there. But best of all, it has three bedrooms. Decent-sized bedrooms. Oh, hang on, wow. is that an ensuite? It's an ensuite. Is this the backyard? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's big. Beautiful tree. You've got a hammock there. It's at least a bit of space here. The main thing for Liz is just seeing the kids when they're outside. North-facing backyard with a kitchen exactly. overlooking the grassy yard. This house meets the brief in so many ways. One, we have a backyard, bathed in natural light. Two, it's right near the school. And the best thing, three bedrooms. After weeks of desperate searching, finally, our experts have found the property that will turn Liz and Ellie's great Australian dream into a reality. There you go. It's, it's, it's a good house. Yeah, it's got three bedrooms. Yeah. I can see so much potential. It's now up to Rich to close the deal. He's put forward an offer of 565000 But there are another two buyers hot on his tail. Am I confident? Um, oh, <laughs> I'm as confident as I can be. You know, we've got a limited budget for these guys. And, and you know, that's what's so hard. And the wait to hear back from the real estate agent is agonising. Come on, mates. Time's precious. Let's go. Uh, He's going to have to ring the other buyers as well, so... But Rich is desperate for an answer before he flies back to Sydney. Here, here we go. Oh. G'day, Robert. How'd you go? Yeah, good. So, I uh, had the final office back from the other two. Um, yeah. Both have come up considerably from their original offer. I would suggest that you put the strongest foot forward uh, if you want to secure the property. And this will be the second and final opportunity. So I'll make it really simple for you. Yep. 582 500, and then we'll also offer $1,000 for your vendor to move out for 30 days from signing contract tomorrow. Okay. Get it done, mate. I'll ring you before you bought that floor. Please do, mate. I don't want to go back to Sydney empty handed, mate. I need, to, <laughs> I need to know it's done, all right? I have to hear in the next 10 minutes, otherwise I'll be beside myself getting on that plane. Far out. Yeah. Tick, 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 tick. Come on, mates. Time's precious. Let's go. It's funny, though, isn't it? This is the, this is the thing, though, with buying. It's like the 11th hour. Wait, 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 wait. He might not even call. Here we go. G'day, Robert. Rich. Uh, yeah? If an offer came in at 583-500 within yeah. 45 days, yeah. then... Um, I'll be able to convey that you're the successful offeree. Consider it a done deal. Can you get the paperwork together? Uh, send it over tonight. I will put a signature on it and uh, we'll, we'll shake hands very soon, eh? Sure, no problem at all. And uh, mate, it'd be great working with you. Bye bye. <laughs> we're well, done, mate. Yes. And we're done. <laughs> oh, so yes. happy, so happy for Liz and Ali. Oh, it's so oh, far out. What a tough negotiation. Now we've got no money to do any work. Well, I'm sure we'll we'll, we'll pull some strings. We've got to get on a flight, so <laughs> yeah, we've we got to go. go.